Okay. So what I did here is I... What's up Ramblers, it's Amber from the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to make one of these dishes that I think is just, a, it's amazing how it comes together. So I got a pot right here, water, salt. We're going to make creamy mashed potatoes, super creamy mashed potatoes. We're not going to use any dairy products or almond milk or oat milk or anything like that no butter and you're gonna just come out ah, super creamy so what I've got here is the secret ingredients I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek at that but do me a favor go down there and like and subscribe to the video and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of the videos that we post all right let me show you what I got going on. Okay, so right here, I have three small golden potatoes and then cauliflower heads. There weren't any at the grocery store, so I got the pre-cut cauliflower here. So it's uh, three potatoes, one small bag of this cauliflower. I'm gonna put this in the water and boil it while I cook my chicken. And then we're gonna come back to this once everything is fully cooked. Now, since I've been working with a nutritionist, we've been eating a heck of a lot of chicken. So I buy the big bag uh, at HEB or Walmart or wherever of already frozen chicken breasts. It's just way easier. If I had more time, I would get a whole chicken and make a whole chicken. But if it calls for just breasts and boneless and skinless, well then cooking a whole chicken not in the cards. So we're gonna take a couple of these chicken breasts. We're gonna thaw them right now. Okay, so our water is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cauliflower and the potatoes in here because we can always keep those warm while we cook the chicken. Okay, so we're gonna let these cook boil until they're done. Now some people would cook these separately because they would cook at different speeds, but what we're gonna do with them, it's not gonna matter. So one pot. We're gonna try to make this as easy as we can on ourselves. One pot, just cook them. The extra water and moisture that they absorb is gonna be just fine. Okay, so what I did here is I cut my chicken up, coated it with some olive oil and some dry sweet barbecue rub. And we're doing it in the air fryer for like 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna get these cauliflower mashed potatoes going. Okay, so I drained them and I left a little bit of water down there. I'm gonna take my immersion blender and we are going to get this um, blended up with the immersion blender. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be creamy. And there we have it, creamy mashed potatoes. Had just a little bit of cornstarch to thicken them up, but yeah, these are gonna be good. Chicken's done. We got our mashed potatoes right here. We're gonna have the chicken over the mashed potatoes and that's all she wrote, y'all. Creamiest mashed potatoes ever. Here's our final product. Crispy chicken, creamy potatoes. The only thing now to do is to taste our endeavor. Let's see what it tastes like. Smoky and spicy barbecue. Nice salty, creamy mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. Hey taco. <clears throat> Ooh, it's good. Mm. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember life's about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video.